is an official copyright tax and if you look at it is you see the definition of copyright i have a dream that's all i need i'll make it up in some work and believe hi right, welcome welcome in this video i want to talk about what is copyright if you have question about copyright or anything related to copyright feel free to contact me feel free to become part of a discord in a discord i will show you a lot of things about copyright and i give you some tips that you need so let's begin the question is the question is what is copyright i'm gonna draw two things for you and based on those two things you understand what copyright is and after that we're gonna look at the copyright definition in the dutch law so in the dutch copyright act we're gonna look at the netherlands the dutch translation and we're also going to look at the english translation yeah if you have question feel free to let me know so first thing first what is copyright technically every system about intellectual property work like this if you understand how the system work you also understand what you need to do or not and when you understand how the system work you also understand what you need to look for and that's something really important so if you look at copyright if you look at copyright you have to see it what is it it's a law it's just it's a law but it's a law that gives you a right nothing more when you look at the right so this is the right when you look at the right it's a right that you have when someone gives you something they can also limit it so when they limit it that means in this situation you are not allowed to use those rights in that situation you're allowed to use those rights so we have a right but we also have a limitation yeah we will come back to that soon yeah so copyright is just a right copyright is not there to protect you copyright is not there to protect your picture copyright is not there to protect the thing that you create it's up to you copyright is just a right a lot of people don't understand that it's just a right if you don't take action nobody does you understand what i mean so it's a right it's not there to protect you you use it to protect your rights you use your right to protect your things that you create i hope you understand what i mean it's not there to protect you it's not like oh i have copyright on the thing okay i earn money no you have a right on the thing but you need to take action to get money from it if you don't take action yeah nobody's gonna do it for you you understand what i mean yes you have some agency that be like okay sell me your copyright i will take action for you and then you get the percentage of the revenue that they get but we're not going to talk about that copyright is just a right and you have to take action of let someone else to take action in order for you to get <coughs> what you want so i talk about the system and how the system work i'm going to explain to you when you look at intellectual property you have trademark copyright and let's say patent yeah you have you also have other mini um similar intellectual property rights but we're not going to talk about that but uh let's talk about those three trademark copyright and patent they all work with a system called the abc formula see abc a b a c a always has the right when you have a situation you always have these three things yeah so a you need to see it as the right so we talk about it when you have rights you have those rights so a is always the right b is the person it can be a copyright holder trademark holder or patent holder so the person of the company it doesn't matter the person that has the right of the company that has the right sometimes people transfer all those intellectual property copyright to a company also possible sometimes the law will say in this situation the company has those right so b is the person it can be a person or a company doesn't matter the person of the company we call it copyright holder in this case trademark holder or patent uh, patent holder understand and c is the person that wants to use those right it's a third person it can be a person but it can also be a company 
So when C used to write without permission, C has a problem. When C, the used, when C wants to have permission, C needs to go to B. You starting to see how it works? So when you have a situation, you need to always look what is the right. So you look at here, what is it? Who? Who has the right? And C, if you are C, you need to ask what is the right and who has the right? And when you look at what is the right, you need to figure out, okay, do they have copyright? Can they prove it? And who is the person? Is it in a company? Is the person? Can I find it? Most time people cannot find out who the copyright holder is. And sometimes it can be a problem. And the best solution for that is look for a limitation. Let's talk about a little bit about limitation. When there is a limitation, that means the person cannot do anything in that situation. So if you do something where, and the law is saying there is a limitation, you don't have to get the permission. So let's say I'm C and I want to use a video for someone in my other video. I can use that if it's a review or if there is a fair use. In that case, there's a limitation on the law of B. So you see here, B, copyright holder, they have a right, but there's a limitation on their right. In that case, B cannot do anything for me. Another solution for me is if I want to use the video, is just go to B and ask, hey, can I use the video? And B will be like, okay, or not. Sometimes you need to pay for the license, sometimes not. Sometimes before you ask, they already have a guideline on the website where they say, in this situation, you're allowed to use our videos. You don't have to have permission for that. You understand what I mean? All right? So there are some limitations, but if C wants to use this, so if C wants to use this, C needs to have permission from B. If C doesn't have permission, then C has a problem. But when there is limitation, so when there is limitation, C doesn't have to have permission. So limitation, no permission. Yeah, XP, give me a second. Let me draw it again. When there is a limitation, you don't need permission, right? But when there is no limitation, you need permission. You understand what I mean? So when there is a limitation, you do not need permission. But when there is no limitation, you do need permission. Permission means C go to B and ask permission to use it. Then uh, if C doesn't do that, C has a problem. Hopefully you understand what I mean. So technically that's how it works. It works with trademark. It works with patent because then a trademark, this right will be trademark rights, copyright and patent rights. And in the law, you will find what those rights are. And in the law, you will also find what those limitations are. So if you ask me what is copyright, copyright is just a right that you have according to a law. There are some limitations attached to those rights, but when people use it without your permission, you can sue them. So, I still talk about you, but in the law, they also talk about the copyright holder. So, if you look at the, we are fortunate enough that if you look at the copyright in the Dutch Kingdom, you will see that they have a perfect definition of copyright. So, let's look at it. Here you see the official copyright tax and if you look at it is you see the definition of copyright so they call it the art van het auteursrecht het auteursrecht is het uitsluitend recht van den maker van een werk van letterkunde wetenschap kunst of van dienstrecht verkrijgende om dit openbaar te maken en te vervoudigen behoudens de beperking bij de wet so if you look at the translation, this translation is almost similar. The nature of copyright, 
And if you look at here, the art from copyrights, technically the correct translation. Yeah. I need to watch out. Yeah. It's technically the correct translation. So here you see what is copyright. Copyright is an exclusive right of the author. See that here? And here you see where the right is. So what kind of work you have in here. And here you see also what those rights are. You're allowed to make it public and you're allowed to reproduce it. So we have here exclusive rights. Let me, I think it's better. We have here exclusive rights of the author. So this is the copyright holder and this is the work. And when you look at the exclusive rights, they're allowed to make it public and reproduce it. But you need to watch out for the limitation provided by the law. So the law is giving you exclusive rights. You is the author and your exclusive right is you're allowed to make it public and you're also allowed to reproduce it. But there are some limitation in the law. Same here. If you look at this, we have the rights. The author. Sorry about this. This is the work. And then what are they allowed to do? Make it public and reproduce it. But watch out for limitation. And limitation you'll find it in the law. So technically that's copyright. You get the law, right? You is the maker. You're allowed to do whatever you want. It's an exclusive right. But the law can um the law can give you some limitation. Technically, that's copyright. So in this video, we talk about what is copyright. Copyright takes explaining in the Dutch kingdom. I'll just show you how it works in the article one. I showed you a Dutch example and I saw you also an English example. If you have question about this or you do not know how it works, feel free to contact me and I'll see you in the next video. I have a dream, that's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and belief Know what I want, so I'll take it on I made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen with